than like east coast and stuff i'm like a west coast girl yo i love it out here i don't know why i think it's just because it's so different like there's just like dirt everywhere and like i don't know i like it but yeah palmy is going potty and then we are going to head out and see what today has to offer Wait, wait. Mommy wants to go 
walk outside. So we're gonna go explore over here. But look at how pretty it is, guys. Somebody just hit me. This is what it's looking like. Uh, they're tra it's okay, baby. He's all worked up. It was already traffic. I was pulled over. This is watch out, baby. This is what his truck's looking like. Watch out, baby. Go to bed, baby. Go to bed. Here, here. Come here. It's okay. Come here. Come. It's okay, baby. He's all shaken up, and I don't know what to do, you guys. Fucking shit. So I'm gonna try and get over. I have some brakes on my windshield. My trailer's fine. He's fucked up with you guys. Like his whole, his whole thing is fucked. So fucking bullshit. His shit is. Fucked up. Like he didn't see that there was traffic or something. Fucking idiot. This is what his is looking like, y'all. I'm like trying to not. I'm trying to not let it. Oh my god, you guys, I'm freaking the fuck out I've never been in an accident and he hit me kind of hard I don't even know who to call or what to do oh I'm having an anxiety attack I'm just happy I'm okay everything is looking like I have no clue where anything is I'm gonna fix the fridge it's okay baby it's okay I just got some things on my windshield I don't really know. I'm okay thank you
I'm still waiting for the cops to come. I had no service. So, that is the crack in my windshield. I have no clue what hit it. I really have no clue, but everything else is fine. I do have lights on my dash, so I'm not too sure, but I just put everything back. Well, it's like literally an hour and a half later, and for some reason, I don't know where I placed my insurance for the truck, so I'm waiting on it to come through. They said that they were emailing it to me. And I still have yet to get it. Um, but yeah, we just moved, so we're out off of an exit now, so I'm not on the highway, which is good because it was kind of getting scary out there. Another sergeant came out, and the guy that hit me, They're sending the ambulance out too. So, because my neck and my back hurt so freaking bad. But yeah, I lost two nails too. I don't even know if I have service, but I'm trying to go YouTube live to get my mind off of it. But I don't know. I drove like 30 minutes um, to this.
once I get to the hospital, everything's okay. Hopefully. Definitely gonna need some chiropractor appointments. And my back feels super off. I keep getting spasms in it. California and I'm just knowing that it's gonna be super freaking busy so wish okay you guys so it is the next morning currently um, I'm just waking up I got out of the ER last night literally in the middle of the night like I think it was like one or two in the morning and I went in at like two in the afternoon. So I was in there for about 12 hours. I had to keep coming out, letting Palm out, checking on him. Um, and it just, it was so busy in there, you guys. Like I wanted to leave, but at the same time, like I didn't want there to be stuff like seriously wrong with me. So basically, I don't think that I mentioned either on the site that you guys, today is like this, I think it's the second day after the car accident. And when I tell you, oh my god like i can't even really like laugh i can't take a deep breath like turning my neck like is like super painful i hate it here but so the police report and everything i didn't put that um i didn't vlog 
when the cops got there and stuff because obviously like I'm just talking to them or whatever the case was um, but the police report that they did the guy did get a citation it was only for following too close but I know that he was on his phone or something. There's no way that you just hit somebody when we were in traffic for that long. Like, honestly, it doesn't make sense to me. And of course he didn't speak English. So I, you know, it just, yeah. Um, but yeah, he did get a citation. So that's good on my end, if you know what I'm saying. And then um, the hospital. So I have chest a chest contusion. Um, so they said that that's why, like, I'm having trouble, like, breathing and, like, you know, like, ca like, I can't really do anything that's, like, super, like, you know, like, if I ran right now, I'd probably die. That's how bad it hurts. And then, um, I also, they said that I have, like, sprain, um, sprains, I guess, like, my, like, muscles are sprained. I don't know how that works. Um, but yeah, they said that, um it's basically like super bad whiplash and I also have like bruising um and they said that that's from you know most likely the seatbelt and me hitting like the steering wheel or something I don't really know what happened or what I hit or nothing like I completely kind of like blacked out that's why I was like silent after the crash because I was just like I don't even know what happened um but yeah so I do have bruising and if that like gets she said if it spreads or like goes to places where like it shouldn't be at then I need to like go to the emergency room right away and if I'm still having pains in like a week or two I need to go back to the ER um but yeah so luckily no internal bleeding and no you know um like that's what I was worried about the internal bleeding because I was having really bad abdominal pains and she said that that most likely is just from me um you know get like the seat belt cutting into my abdomen I guess which kind of makes sense but like I said I've never been in an accident so I don't know how to do any of this but she said that I should um go see my chiropractor and everything because yeah it's not good you guys like I'm in a lot of pain they prescribed me pain pills which I'm not gonna take because I am still in my truck um if the pain does worsen later to where I can't really handle it um I will just go and have to get a hotel and figure that out with KLLM. I don't know if they they would pay for it or what. Um, but yeah, if I do need to take the pain pills, um, I will have to get out the truck. So hopefully I doesn't get that bad. Um, I am gonna take, they prescribed me like a high dosage of ibuprofen. So I am gonna get those and take those for sure. Um, but as far as like the, they, they prescribed me like, um, cyclobenzaprine and they were trying to give me like a little bit of morphine and stuff and no I didn't want all that so yeah you guys that is just the update um I can't work for the next few days so I'm out here in Cali it just sucks because like I want to be able to go out and like do stuff you know but it's like hard right now because even just like walking palm and stuff with him pulling me it really it, it hurts so I don't know. I'm going to take some ibuprofen, see how I feel, and I will just keep you guys updated. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for the next video, and I will keep you guys posted on this whole situation.